going on? How's everyone doing? Just shout out to you. Everybody else who's cool. Shepke! I didn't say. Eat your popcorn. And your Coca-Cola and relax. <laughs> anyway, tell Colin. I'm rich. Oh, uh, what's going on? This is Colin. How's everybody doing? Part two, the second video I've released today. Sovereign Citizen. This guy has started to become, a, he's, he has, he is starting to become a regular on all the, the law two channels out there. Now, he wasn't in front of Magistrate Braley yesterday. I did not get the clip, but my good friend, um, Team Skeptic, did get the clip. So I'm going to post his link below. So go watch what he did in front of Magistrate Braley yesterday. He turns up today and he gets himself in trouble in front of Judge Simpson. All right, before I hit that play button, you know what to do. Hit the like, subscribe, do your jump kick backflips. Let's go. Okay, it's people versus Thomas Styron. Here we go. Just a public defender of Vitello Vitello on behalf of Mr. Styron, who's going to my left. Well, let's talk to the judge about that. Right? Yeah, but should not for the We've been through this. There seems to be some confusion. What's the confusion? I stated multiple times on the record that I wish to represent myself. Well, I thought we got rid of that issue at last. Yeah, I, I thought so too. I spoke to this gentleman right here and expressed my wish to represent myself as well. All right. Well, if he doesn't want you, I mean, I'm, we'll we'll figure that out in a moment. So, Mr. Styron, we're going to go through this again. What do we want to do in this case? You understand what you charged with, sir? So, I understand what the charges are against me. Yeah. Okay. Maybe Look, you're going to have to give me straightforward answers to my questions because I've got to make sure that you understand certain things. I got to do certain things here. Well, do you understand, first of all, that if you do be direct, you want to smile about it and laugh about it? Take him back. We'll call him out later. Take him back. You keep laughing. You laugh one more time. That's 30 days. Go contempt. Look it up. You may need an attorney. Oh, I forgot to do the fade in, fade out. All right. This is his next appearance. He was put in timeout, and now he's coming back. After Judge Simpson took a small break. You know, Judge Simpson's little breaks that take about a half hour. I'll be back in five minutes, 30 minutes later. All right, let's go. You told me she was done. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, there, there. All right. First calls the case of the people versus tyrants. Recall. State your name. My name is Thomas Styron. I live in man. So Styron, you are before the court. You have three. You have elected to represent yourself. I do have to advise you that you have three counts against you. The first count is that of fleeing and eluding third degree under the motor vehicle code. Do you understand the nature of that charge, sir? This is under the assumption that I'm com you're compelling me to, to identify as Thomas York Steyer, the, the legal entity on this case. I believe that you. Yo, jackass, it's a yes or no question. Do you understand the charges? I don't. Now, put the sovereign citizen script aside. I don't understand why you would argue that. Do you understand the charges that are against you? It has nothing to do with you being a living man. Thank you for letting us know that, though. All right, let's keep going. You are. Do you understand the nature of the charge, sir? I don't understand how. <laughs> The name you have on the case and, and who I am, it's two different people. I have a complaint 
Thomas Styron II. Do you understand that that individual is charged with fleeing and eluding third degree? Dude messed up. He messed up. It's not two different people. It's two different entities. You can't have two different people. That's that's not how it works. Two different entities. It's the same person. You, you gotta you gotta figure out your script, man. You, you've had a lot of time in jail now. You've been in jail for a month. Go back and study some, and also look up contempt, by the way. So, do you understand the nature of that charge? You just need to answer my question. For the record, take him back, and when he decides he wants to cooperate, we'll bring him back. Maybe. I'm not threatening you. Say one more word, and that's contempt. Thirty days. 30 days. All right. I left this next little bit with, uh, what's her name? Christina Constantino, I think is her name. Just because right after that, she comes up and he teases her all the time. And she was in the courthouse when we were there. And I'm going to tell you this. She might be the smallest person that I've ever seen in real life. If she is over four and a half feet tall, I would be surprised. She is amazingly small. But he's having fun with her. Court calls the case. People versus Sky Jones. Sky Jones. Oh, great. <laughs> Just can't no. get a break. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. No, no compelling or anything here. <laughs> Christina Costantino on behalf of John. But she was in the courtroom. She made Seriously. It. So you I'm sorry. She was <laughs> You know, Miss Gaines, I went and back and I almost didn't come back out. <laughs> I must just wanted to stay. You understand? See? <laughs> That's what I like, Joe. Finally. Hello. Hello, what's your name? Yeah, I, I knew you were here. Miss Constantino said she left. She no, left. I would Yeah, no, I she said all that, that stuff. It was I, horrible. I, I, I defend you. Don't worry. I would never all say right. that. I would never ever say that. Um all right, yeah. I just wanted to keep that little bit in there. Just because just to see his his personality shift. He's so good at that. He can compart compartmentalize. His frustration very quickly. That's that's why he's a judge, right? All right, let's finish this case up now. <laughs> uh, now he comes back. Three calls case: People of the State of Michigan versus Thomas Styron the second. Styron, you are before the court on a felony complaint that does allege count one. But I'm going to presume, since you do not want to answer the court's questions, that you understand English and understand what I'm saying. You are before the court on three charges. Count one is the charge of fleeing and eluding fourth to third degree. Under the Michigan Motor Vehicle Code, that is a felony punishable by up to five years incarceration, a $1,000 fine plus court cost and would require the Secretary of State to suspend your license for up to one year upon conviction. Count two is assaulting, resisting, and obstructing a police officer. That is a felony or high court misdemeanor, punishable by up to two years incarceration and or a $2,000 fine plus court cost. Count three is a misdemeanor offense of operating with a license suspended, denied, and or revoked. That is a misdemeanor as indicated, punishable by up to 93 days, $500 fine plus court costs. Your vehicle could be subject to immobilization. Since you refused previously to answer my acknowledgement as to whether you understand that, I will assume that you understand what you're charged with. You are also entitled to be represented by counsel at this and all subsequent proceedings. If you could not afford to hire an attorney, an attorney would be provided at public expense to represent you in this matter. You are entitled as indicated to be represented at this proceeding, all subsequent proceedings, including your preliminary examination, and if the matter were to proceed by trial would be entitled, you would be entitled to counsel. It is, as we have gone through in the previous proceedings, the court's understanding that you do not wish to be represented by counsel, 
and that this matter will then proceed forth with you representing yourself. I have to advise you that in representing yourself, the court will make the presumption that you understand the Michigan court rules, those regarding both procedure and those regarding evidence. The court will not be providing any legal assistance to you during the course of those proceedings and will hold you to the same standards that I would hold an attorney representing or practicing before this court. So with all of that, and with the court's understanding that you do not want to be represented by counsel, I will set this matter for its next proceeding. You understand that I'm a beneficiary, not trustee, right? That will be the preliminary examination. I will set the preliminary examination. Has discovery been provided to the defendant? Your Honor, he was previously represented by the public defender. I don't know if he turned over the paperwork to him. Does anybody from the public defender's office know whether or not the defendant has been provided discovery? Mr. Odetella. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, Your Honor, we have the discovery. I have not been able to uh, share that discovery with Mr. Steyer, and I tried to speak with him and go over it, but I'd be happy to turn that over to him if first available. All right. If you would either turn that over to the court officer so that they can provide. Oh, he'd be really happy to. <laughs> Did you hear that excitement in his voice? I would be really happy to turn this over. Oh man, he's never he's never wanted to run from a case so bad in his life. Yeah, I'm not gonna say that. He's you know a public defender. He's probably had to defend a lot of bad people. And I don't even remember what this guy's charged with. I already forgot because everything he says, you completely forget anything that he's doing except for the dumb that's coming out of his mouth. All right, I'm gonna let this play out. You guys all have a great day. Have a great rest of the day, and I will be going live tonight as usual, 8 p.m. Stand, Eastern Standard. Hope to see you there. Until next time, bye. Add that to Mr. Severin so that he has some discovery, and if you could do that today, I would appreciate it. Yes, sir. I'm setting the preliminary examination. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. The people would have their witnesses available June 11th. Set this matter for preliminary examination in person. June 11th, 2024, 9 a.m. That is before me. Defendant, as he was leaving the courtroom the last time, the court did find the defendant in contempt, sentenced him to 30 days. The defendant will serve that sentence. The court will sign the judgment of sentence regarding the contempt. I don't understand how, how that's possible. Like I said, uh, I'm so first of all, watch your share. Language. You're treating me as if I'm the trustee or I don't want to partake in any trust fraud or anything like that. Is this a sest QVA trust matter? Involvedness? Is my social security number attached to this at all? Go figure. Styron, or whoever you wish to be addressed as, I'd suggest that you watch yourself because there's going to be more time coming. You keep it up. You will learn, you will learn how to it. conduct yourself appropriately in these proceedings in this courtroom and before me. You will not in any manner whatsoever just You're trying to tell me to be somebody I'm not. Or this institution. You have no evidence. It will not to prove happen. that I'm who you say I am. You will not talk to me in that fashion. In, in what fashion? I'm not the one being unethical. Very good. You'll serve the 30 days. We'll see. We'll see him on the 6th. Bond continues.